In this tutorial, we will cover the basics of uh, working with a 3D imaging module in Plan Macromexis software. Uh, so we'll take a look how we can how we can get there, uh, how we can navigate around there, uh, how we can view uh, the list of uh, 3D data uh, that the patient has, and uh, uh, we, we can we can take a look at uh, at the different uh, sub modules. Uh, there will be separate tutorials about uh, the sub modules, um, and and then finally, uh, let's take a look at how how we can export images. So. These imaging modules are inactive now because we don't have uh, a patient open. So let's uh, open a patient who has uh, 3D images. And uh, now uh, we could go to 3D module either here uh, by clicking on this uh, now active uh, 3D module icon. Uh, or then uh, we could use these next steps shortcuts here. Uh, so these uh, shortcuts show also in parentheses how many images uh, the patient has in different categories. So uh, this one has five uh, files in the 3D imaging module. So we could we could click here and uh, and see how how 3D imaging module looks like. Uh, so now we are actually in 3D imaging module sub module called volumes. Uh, where we have uh, a list uh, of all the uh, 3D data that the patient already has. Uh, so 3D module is actually divided into uh, separate sub-modules, uh, the selection of which depends on the license uh, that we have. So always when we open 3D volume uh, uh, from uh, 3D module uh, from this icon or, or the next steps, uh, we land here in uh, in the volumes sub-module where we can see the existing data. Uh, we could also naturally capture uh, new images. We could use this 3D capture here. Uh, so if we have a 3D imaging device uh, configured, uh, we could capture new images uh, for this patient. Or if we have a model scan function uh, in our 3D imaging unit, uh, we can make a digital uh, model of the patient's uh, physical impression or, or dental model uh, with the model capture function. So uh, with this we could capture uh, new data. And uh, after, after capturing the image, I want to now uh, go into detail with these functions, uh, but we could immediately then uh, remove artifacts from the volumes, uh, from the captured volumes when needed. So with this function uh, we can remove both uh, metal artifacts uh, from the volume as well as uh, if we have uh, the new uh, COM uh, movement uh, correction algorithm available, uh, we can also correct uh, the effects of patient movement uh, through this function. And then uh, if we uh, want to make a bigger volume out of smaller uh, volumes captured with our 3D imaging unit. Uh, we can stitch volumes together. Uh, so usually, uh, usually Romexis uh, should be uh, able to quite well uh, stitch uh, the smaller volumes uh, together automatically, but we can manually, or we need to manually, still verify the result. And we can manually also uh, adjust the stitching uh, when needed. So for example, when the patient had moved uh, between capturing those two sub-volumes uh, that we're going to stitch together, then maybe maybe we'd need to uh, still manually adjust the stitching a little bit. And then uh, we can import uh, new images for the patient. So for example, if you have some other manufacturer's 3D imaging unit uh, and we have um, to data in uh, DICOM format, we can we can import that always to Romexis. So Romexis is an open system. And if we would like to uh, uh, fit an STL um, to a volume, uh, we could use this function here. Uh, we can find this function as well uh, inside uh, uh, inside uh, the, the sub modules of 3D imaging modules. So if we have opened a 3D volume, uh, we can we can select there uh, to fit the SDL uh, to the 3D volume. Let's actually just uh, import uh, import the 
3D volume, so I select uh, this file, uh, this diagram, diagram file, and click on OK. I'll just click on OK still. Uh, well, this one already exists in my database, but I will, I will import it anyway. So after importing or capturing an image, uh, it gets automatically opened here in the Explorer sub-module. Uh, but we can get back to volumes uh, list when we when we click here on the Explorer and we go to volumes. So now we see that we have actually uh, the same volume. So so the volume that I imported, uh, I had I had previously previously exported from the same patient. So now now the patient has six uh, 3D images here in the list. So in 3D volume, uh, module, uh, we work with all uh, types of 3D data. So uh, CVCT images, uh, other 3D volumes, um, pro faces or other facial scans, uh, dental models, other surface mod models, uh, prosthetic design. So all, all types of 3D data. And here, uh, like you see, we can already view some information about uh, the different uh, file entries. And uh, if we are unsure uh, which 3D volume is which, uh, there's also a small slider that allows us to browse uh, through the Axial stack. So we can verify that uh, the image we're going to open is the right one. And uh, by right uh, clicking on top of this uh, selected image entry, uh, we can find some more options. We could view uh, some more specific properties of, of this image, also image comment um, that, that, we, that we see here. And uh, we could also access the diagnosis uh, field uh, for this image. There's also still more specifically the parameters uh, for this image listed. Uh, what else uh, we have here uh, through the right-click options are uh, the option to move uh, this image to another patient. So by clicking here, uh, we would get to choose uh, the patient to whom uh, this image will be transferred uh, from this patient. So if we, for example, accidentally imported or captured uh, the image to a to wrong patient, uh, we can correct that through this function. Or then uh, we can uh, inactivate uh, the image. Uh, so inactivation means that we would uh, remove the image here uh, from the patient's image list, but uh, we don't lose uh, the image completely because we can always retrieve uh, the image back uh, to Romexis through the Romexis configuration application. And uh, we can open any of these image entries uh, by, by double-clicking on it. So now now it gets opened and just like uh, after capturing or importing an image after opening an image uh, it, it gets uh, opened here in Explorer submodule. So like I mentioned we have uh, we have several submodules uh, here in 3D imaging modules so we can uh, get uh, the different submodules visible by, by clicking on this module icon here and this works as a navigation between uh, the different sub-modules. And another navigation, like I said, is here if we click on this uh, Explorer uh, or uh, whichever sub-module we, we are in uh, at the moment. If we click on that text, uh, we will get this drop-down uh, of different uh, sub-modules available. So we can navigate uh, between the sub-modules by clicking uh, on these rows here. And uh, if you don't have uh, all of this uh, visible in your Romexis, uh, that's because of your license. So uh, this selection depends on, on the kind of license uh, that we have uh, for Romexis. So at minimum here in 3D module, maybe we only have four uh, sub-modules visible. And then uh, also, well, also implant tools are actually extra. And this would be called cross-sections if we don't have the implant planning license. So uh, basically most of these modules are, are extra, extra licensed uh, features. 
and basically here in this, uh, so we will go more into detail uh, in another tutorial about uh, processing these 3D images, but uh, just generally about the layout here. So uh, mostly these sub-modules have a little bit different uh, layout among each other, so uh, usually there's this 3D rendered view, a representation of uh, of the 3D data and there here uh, the actual uh, data. So here in Explorer we have these axial coronal sagittal uh, slices available or all these views views available in and some other sub-modules we might have for example panoramic and uh, some of these would be missing. And uh, we will cover uh, this image uh, processing toolbar more uh, in another uh, tutorial concerning uh, the examination of 3D uh, volumes. And here, uh, when we bring our mouse uh, to the top, uh, we can uh, find the other toolbar. So this is the so-called uh, upper toolbar, uh, where we have uh, many of the same functions uh, that, we, that we saw in the, in the opening view of uh, of, of 3D volume module. So uh, here we have uh, the possibilities for for capturing new uh, images or uh, scans and uh, we can process the volume and, and stitch them together or import uh, new images, uh, fit the SDLs uh, uh, to the volumes. And then we have some, in, some functions that we will cover in other tutorials and also there are quick launch buttons uh, that allow us to uh, to get uh, with this image data directly to other software. But uh, most of these we will cover in, in the other tutorials. Uh, just, uh, just to still mention that we can customize this toolbar, so if we don't want to see all of these functions here, uh, we can select which ones will be visible. And it's actually also uh, by right-clicking on top of this toolbar uh, and selecting Turn Hiding Off, we can also dock this tool, toolbar uh, in place if we don't want it to be hidden like this. So, still one more thing. Uh, we could export uh, this volume. So, once when we have a 3D uh, volume opened, uh, I can select in the upper toolbar export and uh, here I, I get to choose how I want to export uh, this opened volume. So uh, I can select the format uh, for the volume to be exported, resolution, I could change if I'd like to. Uh, then I have some other uh, selections for how, uh, how the volume file will be, uh, will be exported, whether I want to export it with cropping applied or if I want to use the original orientation in which the volume was after capturing. And uh, I can also compress the volume uh, to reduce the size and, and then I can anonymize by, by removing all the patient uh, information from it. And otherwise I, I have uh, options for uh, determining what everything I will export together with the volume so uh, if I have different kind of objects uh, added, uh, for example here, I, I have some fitted models and implant guides. And uh, if I want to include the pro-face and with, in which format and annotations, uh, then uh, nerves and implants, if I want to include them together with the volume, burning them uh, would mean that they would become as part of the image data. Uh, so then we couldn't edit them anymore and this would rather uh, keep them uh, still uh, in an editable format. So these objects I don't have here. I, I don't have the selection uh, now this time. So if I, for example, select uh, to include the fitted models and implant guides, uh, they would be exported together with, uh, uh, with the volume in STL format, so as separate uh, files. And then I, I can select uh, where to export the vol uh, volume, whether it's a folder, for example, USB drive uh, inserted uh, in the computer, or if I want to have this disk image that I can later write uh, to some other media, or if I want to write it directly to CD or DVD. And here I could also select uh, what would be the writing speed uh, for, uh, for the volume. 
or I also have this option uh, to add a new image to database. So this option would mean then that I would be adding uh, a new volume uh, for this patient. So we would we would find it in the volumes list uh, for the patient. And then always uh, when we are exporting images from Romexis, we have the option of including uh, the free uh, viewer, Romexis um, Romexis viewer, which is a free version for viewing uh, the images. So uh, if we select to include this, uh, we can select the platform if we know uh, what operating system the uh, recipient is using. Uh, we can determine the viewer language and then uh, we can also skip the viewer launcher so then the image will get opened uh, directly. So including viewer means that we will send the image wrapped uh, inside the viewer so the recipient can just open the viewer and, and we'll find the image inside and then of course all the annotations and, and, uh, and the case that we had planned uh, can be examined with the viewer. Okay, and if we have selected uh, the folder, then we could just browse uh, to the folder uh, where we want to export the image and define uh, the file name, and then we could finish the export by, by clicking on OK.